top 10 movies to watch on Halloween and uh, this was a hard list to make because there's a lot of movies I would recommend watching on Halloween. Halloween's like the ultimate horror movie day. The day where you celebrate everything horror movies and um, I love it. It's one of my favorite holidays like most horror movie fans and um, I just love everything about Halloween and um, so this list was hard to make because I wasn't sure what movies to put on this list because there's so many I would recommend to watch on Halloween you know I wanted to put a lot of my favorite horror movies on this list which uh, some of them are on, on this list but um, I mostly tried to pick horror movies that I thought um, were like perfect to watch on Halloween almost like you know ju they're just made to watch on Halloween or um, horror movies that I have like nostalgic memories of watching on Halloween and um so yeah that's kind of what I did and this is the list I put together so I'll just um go through each one and kind of tell why I picked it and um and the reason why it's great to watch on Halloween and uh my number 10 pick is um Night of the Demons and um this is just a great movie it's a good like fun 80s um cheesy bloody uh gory crazy horror movie and um if you haven't seen this definitely recommended and um this came out in like 87 and it's just um really fun and um this movie takes place on halloween which is uh the main reason i pick it for my number 10 spot on my list just because um, there's a, I know there's a lot of horror movies that take place on Halloween, but um, this is one of my favorites. I just um, think it's they did a really good job. The demons in this movie are kind of like the demons in um, the demons films from um, Argento and uh, Lumberto Bava, and those are great movies too if you haven't seen those. And um, these demons are really similar. And um, they kind of, you know, they have long claws. They're like clawing at people's faces, and um, you know, biting people. And uh, they look crazy. They look like that, and uh, like that. And um, it's just a really fun '80s horror movie. If you like uh, Return of the Living Dead or uh, Reanimator, this is definitely um, up your alley. And uh, Night of the Demons, just a uh, great movie. Again, takes place on Halloween about a group of uh, kids kind of going on like a, a party in this like uh, haunted house or something. And um, they take this mirror out and um, like a demon comes out of the mirror and somehow possesses um, one of the people. And that part, the effects are very reminiscent to like Evil Dead. And then um, from there, it's just demons everywhere. And, like one by one, um, people getting turned in, into the demons. People separating, going in, into different parts of the house. It's just a really fun 80s horror movie and um, great to watch on Halloween. And, um, yep, definitely a good number 10 pick, in my opinion. Night of the Demon. My number 9 pick is uh, Evil Dead for obvious reasons. Evil Dead is just awesome. And I'm sure uh, most of everyone seen Evil Dead. So, um, I really don't think I have to go into it. So, um, it was just, you know, the only thing about this was hard to pick between Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. But I thought Evil Dead is just like, this movie is just like perfect to watch on Halloween. You know, you got the creepy woods, um, you know, demons, uh, you know, like possession, ghost type things going on. Um, creepy cabin in the woods. Um, just, it's just... It has that perfect Halloween vibe. You can tell they were um, making a movie 
that was just like perfect to watch on Halloween or perfect movie. They just like scare people, give people that vibe. And that's why um, Evil Dead is definitely the perfect movie um, for my number nine pick for movies that I would recommend to watch on Halloween. And then um, number eight is um, Friday the 13th Part 3. And again, it was hard to decide which Friday the 13th film to put on this list. So you can pretty much, you know, whatever one you would, you would rather watch. Because um, any of the Friday the 13th movies are great to watch on Halloween. I personally, mostly, most of the time, do a marathon. The Friday the 13th movies and the Halloween movies on um, Halloween. So, um... This is just a movie that I've always watched on Halloween time, but um, I couldn't really decide between this one or the fourth one, or which one to pick, but um, I picked three just because three is like really the most classic. It's the first where he gets his hockey mask. Um, it just has um, classic kills. It's really well, I always thought that one was really well directed and really well acted and written. So this one and the fourth one have always been some of my favorite ones. And um, Friday the 13th Part 3 is just awesome. And, um, I've, like I said, I used to watch this as a kid on Halloween all the time. So, um, this is just one of the, has good nostalgic value to me, too, on Halloween time. So, um, you know, perfect for, um, uh, movies to watch on Halloween. And, um, my number, um, seven pick is, um, the Curse of Frankenstein. And um, The Curse of Frankenstein is a Hammer film. And pretty much, again, like the Friday the 13th, the Hammer, any of the Hammer films would be great to watch on Halloween. Um, they're really fun. They all take place around, like, the fall. I don't know how they always film these movies in the fall. It's probably the sets they used. Or, um, you know, they probably just had bags of fake leaves and just dumped them everywhere. But... It looks like the fall time in almost every Hammer movie you see. Um, it just has that like vibe in the woods and the air. And these movies are great. They take place, you know, in dark, spooky castles. You know, uh, mad scientist equipment. Um, you know, just these movies are great. Dusty cobwebs everywhere. Um, I just I love the Hammer films, and pretty much any of them are great to watch on Halloween. I usually watch. A bunch of these around October and around Halloween time. I have a huge uh, like Hammer DVD collection, and I have some on VHS too. And um, these are just great. This is um, a lot bloodier, because the um, than the Universal uh, Frankenstein movie, and um, it's a lot like darker and a lot like scarier. Um, Peter Cushing plays um, the Doctor uh, Baron Frankenstein in this movie. And, um, he just goes through, um, to, like, any, um, like, anything he needs to do, to, like, get his experiments done and completed, he'll do. He'll, uh, murder people. Uh, he's just crazy in this movie. You can't trust him. You don't, he's unpredictable. You don't know what he's gonna do. Um, the people around him, he abuses and, um, uses. And it's just, it's a crazy, intense movie. The monster or the creature, as it says in this film, is played by um, Christopher Lee, who is just awesome. And if you've seen the Hammer Dracula films, you know what I'm talking about. Or if you've seen any movie with Christopher Lee in it, he just has this presence where he um, like steals every scene he's in. Even if he's just standing in the room, he just he steals the scene. He's just got this, um, this like overwhelming presence to him. And he's great in this movie as uh, the monster and um, even though he doesn't have any lines in this movie you really feel for the monster and um, he's uh, it in this movie it's crazy the monster he gets shot in the head he gets um you know you know a bunch of things are done to him and he just looks crazy he has scars and blood and um, this cover really does not do it justice um, you know the oh yeah the picture on the inside is a little bit better but the monster and this movie is just um, awesome and like it's just awesome it's my favorite design for the Frankenstein monster even though the Boris Karloff one is so iconic but um I just I love the Curse of Frankenstein and again like I said any of the Hammer movies are great to watch um, 
for Halloween time. So um, this is just the one I went with because it's my personal favorite Hammer movie. And um, it's also pretty much like the first Hammer horror movie to come out. So it really, um, you know, started the whole formula and started the whole um, thing of what um, and then it ended up becoming, you know. And Hammer is just great. And then my number six um, pick is actually Frankenstein, the Universal uh, film. And uh, this is just a great movie to watch on Halloween. Um, and that's why I put it on this list, because it's just perfect um, black and white. Um, you know, it's got that creepy atmosphere to it. Um, again, like scientific Frankenstein machines and like sparks flying everywhere, lightning bolts. You know, dead bodies. Um, you got, um, you know, graveyards. This it just has every imagery that you want in a in a movie to watch on like Halloween. You know, all the classic Halloween environments, all the classic horror movie um, scenarios. Just everything about this movie is awesome. Boris Karloff is just does an awesome job as Frankenstein. Him and uh, Christopher Lee's Frankenstein, I can never decide really which one I think is better. Cause they're both so awesome in their own ways. And um, this movie is just awesome. It's directed by uh, James Whale, who is my favorite like director who directed Universal Monster movies. He did a lot of my favorites, like The Invisible Man, Bride of Frankenstein, The Old Dark House. Um, he was just a man. And um, Frankenstein is just an awesome film. And I'm sure mostly everyone's seen this, and if you haven't, you should see this because um, you, you can't get any more classic than the Universal Monster Frankenstein. And that's why it's just uh, it's like a perfect movie to watch on Halloween night when it's getting dark outside, you know, the moon is out, you throw Frankenstein on, you know, and you just you hear the sparks going in the background. You know, it's just, this is just an awesome movie. And um, I would definitely recommend watching this on Halloween. And uh, my number five pick is um, Dracula. Also the Universal Monster film. And um, this is a great double feature with Frankenstein. So I figured I pretty much had to put it on the list. Because if you're going to watch Frankenstein or if you're going to watch Dracula, you should watch the other. Uh, because uh, these movies are just great and go awesome together. And um, this has Bela Lugosi. And again, just creepy, awesome, you know, uh, sets and um, everything you want to see in a horror movie. Again, you know, creepy uh, castle filled with cobwebs. You got Lugosi as Dracula. How You can't get any more, like, Halloween than that. Um, you know, just everything just awesome in this movie just like Frankenstein it's just one of the most classic examples of a horror movie and pretty much every horror movie since has taken something from one of these movies you know not the vibe or the or like the sets or something like that you know just something these movies are just great and um, just awesome to watch on Halloween like I can't think of any movies that get me in the Halloween spirit like more than the Universal Monster movies, other than my number uh, one pick, which I'll be getting to soon. But um, for um, classic horror movies, these are just um, some of the best to watch on Halloween. And um, again, I just I love these movies. And if you haven't seen um, Dracula along with Frankenstein, definitely check these out. Um, just awesome, awesome horror movies. I've loved them like ever since I was a little kid. And um, this is my number four pick for my top ten movies to watch on Halloween. And um, it's House on Haunted Hill with Vincent Price. And um, how can you go wrong with Vincent Price and William Castle? Um, this is just, this movie is pretty much made to watch on Halloween. Made to watch, um, you know, if you want to be, um, just have a fun night. I suggest to watch this towards nighttime. Um, when it's starting to get a little bit later in the day, because um, this is just an awesome movie. It's uh, Vincent Price's character invites 
all these people to stay in a haunted house and if you can stay there overnight you win uh the money and it's just it's like a murder mystery mixed with um a haunted house movie mixed with the vincent price movie mixed with a ghost movie it's just awesome and william castle as the director he throws in all his classic um you know like gags and um whatever he does he just he's awesome i love william castle he's one of my favorite uh like um classic horror movie directors and um he does a lot of gimmicks that's what i was trying to that's the word i was looking for a lot of gimmicks and like fun things that made like going to see these movies in the theater is like really fun and um house on haunted hill has always been my favorite vincent price movie and also my favorite uh william castle movie so i just thought it was perfect number uh, four spot on my list just again um i would recommend this movie definitely watching this movie on halloween just um just one of the best um classic horror movies ever and then my number three spot is uh george A. romero's original night of the living dead and um this is probably the coolest black and white horror movie ever and um it was made around the time when most horror movies were in color but um he um you know the movie was very low budget so it was in black and white and um it just added to the vibe and it's kind of like the crossover from classic horror movies like the black and white like uh christopher lee um you know like karloff days to like the newer like raw um, more realistic, more in your face, more um, has like a message type horror movies that would come out in like the 70s and um, stuff like that. And um, I really love Night of the Living Dead and I can't think of a, you know, again, this is just another movie that I think is perfect to watch on Halloween night. You know, you got zombies, um, just, you know, you got spooky graveyards, um, classic dialogue. Um, that you can quote, you know, throughout the rest of the night. Um, just, I just love this movie, and um, I've been watching it on Halloween for um, years. It's usually on TV around Halloween, but um, I usually just watch it anyways. And um, if I don't watch it on Halloween day, I'll watch it the day before Halloween, or the night before Halloween, or sometime during October. Because so like I said, during October... All I do is pretty much watch horror movies, so pretty much all my videos that I put up like um, are probably going to be just horror movie related, stuff like that. I think I mentioned that before, I can't remember. But um, this is just, uh, just awesome again. Just would recommend to anyone watching this on Halloween night. And then my number two pick is Halloween 4. For obvious reasons, this movie takes place on Halloween, and it's my favorite sequel to the Halloween series, which can probably hint to what my number one pick for Halloween movies to watch on Halloween, um, which I kind of just gave it away right there on accident, but it's almost obvious. It's like, but my number two pick is um, Halloween Four. And um, I know a lot of people are like, why not Halloween 2? It's like, but I like Halloween 4 a lot. I like Halloween 4 more than Halloween 2. Not because I think it's a better movie, but just because this was the first Halloween movie I ever saw. And it's the one that got me into the series. And um, it's one that I really remember watching on Halloween throughout a lot of when I was younger, all the way up till now. I usually watch the whole Halloween series around Halloween time but when I was younger I remember watching this one like I just remember watching this one more like I just have memories of this particular movie when I think of Halloween I remember this movie so I just I felt like this had to be high up on my list because it just reminds me of Halloween the the beginning of this movie um is very Halloweenish. it has um just like shots of uh, like a fall time like farm scenery which is like really um, you know like harvest stuff which just reminds you of Halloween time and it's just 
just great. It's got like flat, you know, like old spooky Halloween decorations set up. And it just really reminds you of Halloween time. And um, when I, th and like I said bef just uh, before, it's just like I just can't, when I think of Halloween time, I just think of this movie. It just reminds me of Halloween. And I love it. So um, definitely why it's number two on my list instead of Halloween 2, because I like Halloween 2 a lot. I actually think it's like a better movie than this, but um, I just, I have more like nostalgia towards this movie. So that is like almost makes it obvious what um, my number one pick is, which is um, Halloween. And it's like, what else are you going to watch on Halloween night other than Halloween? This is just the most classic Halloween movie and um, what made like making movies take place on Halloween like a thing to do. And um, I just love this movie. This is probably one of my favorite slasher movies. Um, and um, I like it more than Friday the 13th, the first Friday the 13th movie. But I actually like the Friday the 13th series more than the Halloween series. I feel like the Friday the 13th series is a little bit more together and makes a little more sense. Except when he starts to go to space and go to hell and stuff like that. Those movies aren't as good. But, um... This movie, um, the Halloween series, this is definitely the best in the Halloween series. And this movie is just awesome. And um, like I said, what else are you going to watch on Halloween? Other than if you're not watching this Halloween night, you should watch this movie Halloween morning. Or you should just make sure you watch this movie on Halloween if you're a horror movie fan. It's just, it's just the best. And um, I can't think of any other movie except Halloween 4. That really gets me in that Halloween vibe from just watching a movie. It like, you know, I feel the spirit of Halloween, you know, when I'm watching these movies. And um, they're just great. They're just awesome movies. And um, so that was my top 10 movies I recommend watching on Halloween. And I hope you enjoyed. And um, I hope you liked some of my picks. And if not, you know, it's just, just my opinion. So, um... But if you have your own opinions on what you think are the top 10 best movies to watch on Halloween, definitely um, you know post a comment or something like that. I'd love to hear what it is. And uh, thanks again for watching. And uh, peace out. With a dangerous dental arrangement And a creepy old crumbling chateau Count Dracula, you showed us what strange man Something that scales us half to death